Welcome back guys! In this video, we're going to talk about the real reason Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are splitting up and why the relationship was doomed from the beginning. Let's get into it. Hi guys, my name is Carmen. I am a matchmaker and I'm also a dating coach. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Feel free to subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So let's talk about Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. So this is a very interesting couple because they are all over the news right now. They are splitting up and I've actually had a lot of requests from viewers to do a video analyzing the relationship between the two of them. So I'm going to do that because that's what you guys wanted to see next. So thank you for letting me know. So I'm a matchmaker who looks at the numerological and astrological birth charts of my clients and based on the criteria that my clients give me, so they'll give me a criteria for what they're looking for in a person, and then based on that criteria, I will look for a person that is a good match for them, and I will do a comprehensive analysis of that person's birth chart. In order to match my clients with matches on a deeper soul level connection. So it's a very comprehensive process. One of the things that I like to do on this channel is I like to look at the numerological birth charts of celebrities to show you guys the real reason why celebrities do what they do and the real reason why they make the choices that they do and things are happening to them in their lives the way they happen. Because there's a lot of really good information in these birth charts that explains everything, that explains why they are the way they are and some of the events that happen in their lives. And this is all hidden knowledge and I share this information with you guys because I want you guys to know the real reason why people behave the way they do and the real reason why things are happening in our world the way they do. So we're going to take a look at Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth's birth charts today and we're going to analyze them and there's a lot of really good information in these charts that explains exactly why they are splitting up and why the relationship was doomed from the beginning. So I'm going to share this information with you guys. And honestly, I don't really know a lot of personal information about these two celebrities. So I want you to know beforehand that everything I tell you is going to be completely objective and it's going to be completely based on the numbers that I'm looking at in these charts. So, you know, if you are offended by anything that I have to say, I apologize ahead of time. I do want you to know that, like I said, I don't really know very much about them personally. So everything I tell you is going to be completely based on the numbers and it's going to be an objective analysis. And even if you don't know anything about numerology, don't worry because I'm going to break it down and I'm going to make it very simple and very easy for you to understand. So this will be a lot of fun for you and you'll understand everything because I'm going to make it very simple. So let's get into it. Let's find out why Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth are splitting up and why the relationship was doomed from the beginning. The life path number is the most important number in your chart because it determines what your life's purpose is and the reason why you were born. The expression number is the number that determines the way you express yourself to the world. So it's basically the way other people see you. The soul's urge number is the number that determines what makes you happy in life and your soul's purpose for being here. The birthday number is the number that determines all of the abilities, the talents, the skills, and the gifts that you have in this lifetime to support your life's purpose. I will post the definition of these words at the back of the video and I will also post the meanings of the individual numbers in numerology at the back of the video as well. So you can look those up later if you like. Now I've already gone ahead and calculated Miley's core number chart ahead of time on my own. And if you would like to do this yourself, I will leave the information to an app below that you can use that will make it very easy for you to do this. And you can also calculate your own birth chart as well if you like. I don't have any affiliation to this app, but this app is free and it will make it very easy for you to do this. So Miley's life path number is a number one 
and the life path number is the reason why you were born and your purpose in life. And let's go to the meanings of the numbers to show you what number one means. And as you can see, one is individuality, independence, leadership, and creativity. So basically what this means is that Miley's purpose in life is to be creative and to be independent. Her expression number is a number five, and five in numerology stands for freedom, change, and transition. And this makes a lot of sense. The expression number is how the world sees you. And we definitely see her as being somebody who likes change, and we definitely see her as somebody who likes their freedom. Her soul's urge number is a number five, and so what this means is that what makes her happy in life and what brings her happiness is freedom, change, and transition. Her birthday number is a number one, which means that the skills and abilities and talents that she brings to this lifetime are creativity, independence, and leadership same as her life path number. So as you can see, she has a lot of ones and a lot of fives in her chart. So that tells me that this is a person who really likes their independence and their freedom. And that is the way the world sees them. And that is their purpose in life as well. So now let's take a look at Liam's core number chart. And the first thing we, that we noticed is that his life path number, which is his purpose in life, is a six. And let's go to the meanings of the numbers. And as you can see, number six stands for beauty, family, home, and service to community. So this tells me that Liam's purpose in life is to have a family, a home life, and to provide service to others. His expression number is a number one, and one stands for creativity and independence. So what this means is that the world sees him as being an independent person and a creative person. His soul's urge number is a number eight, and number eight stands for wealth, power, and abundance. So this tells me that what brings him happiness in life is having wealth, power, and abundance. His birthday number is a number six, same as his life path number, which means that the abilities and skills and talents that he brings to this lifetime are family, home, and service to others. So as you can see, he has two sixes in his chart. People with a life path number of six tend to get married at a very young age. And I would say that that was the case for Liam because he did get married in his 20s. And that is very typical of people with a life path number six. So now let's put these charts right next to each other so that we can compare the two of them. And the first thing that we notice is that Liam definitely has a lot of even numbers in his chart compared to Miley. As you can see, he's got two sixes and one eight. With Miley, she doesn't have any even numbers at all in her chart, only odd numbers. And so this tells me right away that these two are very different because the even numbers tend to have a similar energy and the odd numbers tend to have a similar energy. And so right away, I can tell these two are very different. Liam's life path number is a number six, so his purpose in life is basically to have a family and to have a home life. And Miley's is a number one, and her purpose is to be independent and to be creative and to be an individual. So as you can see right away that the life path numbers between these two are very, very different, very different. What makes Liam happy in life is wealth and power because his soul's urge number is a number eight, and what makes Miley happy in life is very different because her soul's urge number is a number five. And five is the number of freedom, change, and transition. And so this tells me that what makes them happy in life is very different and their purpose in life and reason for being here is also very different. I can actually see a lot of arguments and a lot of conflicts happening between these two with this number combination. You know, I can see that Liam probably was more committed, maybe more balanced and stable in the relationship, since six is a very balanced, stable, committed number. And Miley was probably the more independent one and w wanted more freedom. And, um, you know, because that's her soul's urge is to have freedom, to have change, to have transition. You know, people with a soul's urge of five, they get bored really easily and um, they like a lot of change. They don't like to be in one place too long. They like to move around a lot. 
And Liam probably isn't like that at all based on these numbers. Most of his numbers are even numbers, and these are very balanced numbers and very stable numbers. And Miley's numbers are all odd numbers, and they are not as balanced and they are not as stable. So this tells me that he's the more stable one in the relationship and he's more grounded, and he's probably more conventional and more traditional than she is. Someone with a lot of ones and fives in their chart is going to be very individualistic and they're not going to be conventional and traditional at all. They're going to be pushing the limits and pushing the boundaries and they're going to be marching to the beat of their own drum and not paying attention to tradition and not paying attention to society. So, you know, as you can see, this is a very, very different combination and I can see a lot of arguments and I can see a lot of conflict happening with a combination like this. And so that's probably what brought them together in the beginning. The fact that they are so different and we all know that opposites always attract. So they probably were very attracted to each other because they are so different. But unfortunately, these differences are probably what tore them apart in the end. Because in the long run, opposites attract, but they don't always last. And so maybe Liam became frustrated with Miley's independence and her unconventionalism. And maybe she became frustrated with his traditionalism and his conventionalism. We don't know exactly what happened, but what we do know is that these numbers definitely show that these two were doomed from the beginning and that they never really stood a chance to begin with. So go look up the numbers in your own birth chart. I will leave the information for that app below so that you can put in the numbers. And like I said, I don't have any affiliation to this app, but this will be a good way for you to look at your own birth chart and compare it to your partners and look at the difference in the numbers. Do you have a lot of even numbers and your partner has a lot of odd numbers? Or is it kind of balanced both ways? That will kind of give you a good understanding of if you guys are a good match. And you can also look up the meanings of the numbers and that will tell you a lot of information whether or not um, your numbers go well together. The two main numbers to look at when comparing your chart with your partner's chart are the life path number and the soul's urge number. Because like I said, the life path number is the reason why you were born and the reason why you are here. And so it's who you are at your core. The soul's urge number is the number that determines what makes you happy. So just by comparing these two numbers of yours to your partner's numbers, you can get a lot of information as to whether or not, you know, you guys are a good match. Or if there's somebody that you're interested in, you can look up their numbers and, you know, see do they have a lot of odd numbers or a lot of even numbers compared to you and your chart. So this will give you a lot of really good information regarding your own relationship. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video today. If you want to check out my services, I will leave the information to that below as well. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like, please share and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can follow me on Facebook. I'm sending you my light and I'm sending you love. Take care.